light images formed by lenses you know that when light hits a smooth and polished surface it bounces back you call this reflection what happens when light hits a transparent surface like glass or water it passes through but it bends a little when it enters and then go straight again this is known as refraction so refraction is the slight deviation that happens to a ray of light when it goes from one transparent medium to another in reflection the light bounces back in refraction it bends a little and goes ahead glass allows light to pass through it do you have a glass made of glass look through it because light bends when it goes from air to glass and glass to air again things that are behind the glass look a little distorted when you look straight down there isn't much distortion it goes on increasing when you start looking through at an angle you'll study the details of that when you are in the 10th standard have you seen a magnifying glass when you hold it close to something you can get a bigger view of it a magnifying glass is a piece of spherical glass you know that glass is transparent and allows light to pass through it just like we have concave and convex mirrors we also have convex and concave lenses a lens is made of glass so it allows light to pass through it this is a piece of glass that is evenly thick everywhere this is not a lens this is a piece of spherical glass that is thinner in the middle and thicker at the sides this looks like a cave doesn't it this is called a concave lens this is a piece of spherical glass that is thicker in the middle and thinner at the sides this is called a convex lens now look at the magnifying glass again feel its edges and feel its middle what kind of lens is it it's thicker in the middle and thinner on the sides so it is a convex lens when you hold an object very close to a convex lens and look through the other side what do you see you see a magnified image of the same object there is no lateral inversion it is upright is it real or virtual it is virtual here's an interesting thing to do with a convex lens put it in the path of sun rays and place a piece of paper on the ground adjust the lens in such a way that you get a bright spot on the paper hold the lens and the paper steady what happens after a few minutes the paper burns now hold a concave lens like that do you get a bright spot on the paper no you don't however much you try to adjust it just doesn't happen let's try to understand why to understand that you must know that when light passes through glass it bends this bending is called refraction of light it happens when light goes from one transparent substance to another that is why things look a little different when you look at them through an empty glass or even through water a piece of glass like this is called a prism it has a square base and a point at the top 
So, it has four faces that are triangles. Now, when light passes through a prism, it bends towards the base. Did you get that? It bends towards the base. So, if you have a beam of light coming in and hitting a prism like this, the light will bend and come out like this. If you have a beam of light coming in and hitting a prism like this, the light will bend and come out like this. Alright, now remember this. Let's go back to our lenses. You can think of a spherical lens as two prisms, one on top of the other. When two prisms are stacked up base on base, the shape that you get is thick in the middle and thin on the top and bottom. What kind of lens is like this? A convex lens. So when light passes through a convex lens, what will happen? It will bend towards the base. So this beam will bend like this and this beam will bend like this. So both beams come towards each other. That means they are converging. Converging means coming closer and closer to meet at a point. So a convex lens is called a converging lens. When two prisms are stacked up point on point, the shape that you get is thin in the middle and thick on the top and bottom. What kind of lens is like this? A concave lens. So, when light passes through a concave lens, what will happen? It will bend away from the base. So, this beam will bend like this and this beam will bend like this. So, both beams move away from each other. That means they are diverging. Diverging means going further and further apart. So, a concave lens is called a diverging lens. Let's go back to our question. Why could we get a bright spot with a convex lens but not with a concave lens? The convex lens is a converging lens. So, the rays of the sun after passing through the lens move towards each other. So, it brought together the sun's rays to a point. When we focus that point long enough on paper, the energy that got concentrated at that point was enough to burn the paper. A concave lens is a diverging lens. So, the rays of the sun after passing through the lens moved away from each other. So, there was no bright spot formed and whatever you did, it just couldn't happen. What did we just learn? When light passes through a glass, it bends. This is called refraction of light. A piece of glass or other transparent material with curved sides is called a lens. There are two types of lenses. Convex lenses and concave lenses. Concave lenses make the light rays go away from each other. So, they are called diverging lenses. Convex lenses make the light rays come close to each other. So, they are called converging lenses. Magnifying glasses use convex lenses. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.